Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have y squared plus y equal to y to the power of 3. What we'll do is to rearrange this. So we write y to the power of 3 equal to y squared plus y. Now the next thing I will do is to bring everything to one side y to the power of 3 minus y squared minus y is equal to 0. What do you observe from here? y is common to these three terms, so factor out y. Then here we have y squared minus y minus 1. Because we factored it out already, close this and equate this to 0. From here we can apply our 0 product rule. And that says that it is either y is equal to 0 or y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Here we already have the first value of y, which is 0. So to continue, we focus on this quadratic equation. y squared minus y minus 1 equals 0. And then from here... We can apply the formula method where we have y to be equal to minus b plus or minus. We have um, square root of b squared minus 4ac and this is all over 2a. Now according to this equation, our a is equal to 1, our b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to minus 1 as well. So these are the values for a, b, c. Now y from here is b is um, minus 1, right? So this negative will cancel, so we're going to have 1, which is plus 1. Then plus or minus b squared, that will be minus 1 in bracket squared. Then minus 4 times a is 1 times c which is minus 1 as well. Okay, then this will be over 2 times 1. y from here is 1 plus or minus. Um, then we shall have 1 squared is 1. 4 times 1 times minus 1 will give plus 4. And this is over 2. If we continue, we have y to be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. So we can split this again as we have y to be equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 or y is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now let's pick out the three solutions. The first solution, the first solution is our y1 and it's equal to 3. The second solution is our y2 and it's from here, which is 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. This is our second solution, y2. Then our third, y3, is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So these are the three solutions for the equation. Thank you for watching. And you can try to check it yourself to see whether the three of them would satisfy this equation, which is y to the power of 2 plus y equal to y to the power of 3. Thank you for watching.